we're going to make a sugar-free or sugarless carrot cake. So let's get started. We're going to just first start off with six egg whites and you want to beat them. You don't have to beat them into real high peaks. I prefer to do that because I think the cake actually comes out lighter. But this recipe comes out quite nicely uh, if you really just lightly beat them. The next thing that I'm going to put in this is actually one cup of apple concentrate. What I do is I actually take a cup of frozen apple juice right out of the can and then I just let it sit out a little bit and then I pour it into my uh, egg whites. The next thing that we're going to put in is two-thirds cup of canola oil. That was two-thirds. And the last thing we're going to put in is a quarter of a cup of water. And then I'm just going to blend this with my spoon a little bit. It's going to separate, but you just do want to try to mix it together. Now set that aside for the moment. What you're going to do is you're going to sift three cups of all-purpose flour in a large bowl and you're going to put one tablespoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda in that, one teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of cinnamon, And the last spice you're going to put in is nutmeg, and that's a quarter of a teaspoon. And then I'm just going to mix that in my flour. And I'm going to take actually the liquid mixture and those egg whites and start to just mix them into my dry. Now you don't want to really over mix. What I do is I do it all by hand and then I turn my hand mixer on just for a few seconds to make sure it's well blended. You just want to make sure that it's been moistened. So then with your spoon or your spatula, just moisten this all together. Again, we don't want to over mix it or over beat it. We'll just try to combine it until it's all moist and it's all come together. And I'll show you what that looks like. And this is when I actually like to turn my hand mixer on just for a little bit just to make sure that I've combined everything on medium speed and I know I do it less than less than a minute just so that the lumps are gone and I'm getting to the bottom of the bowl and working those sides okay so now the batter looks like this. What you're going to put in next is actually two cups of grated carrots and that's about four or six medium carrots. And again just plop them all in your bowl and then do try to just fold these into your batter. The next thing that you're going to put in, and the very last thing that you're going to put in, is your raisins. And you're going to need two cups. And what I did was I put about a tablespoon of warm water in the raisins just to plump them up a little bit. And then I drained the water from them. So those were two cups of raisins. And again, the same thing. Just try to fold it in. You really don't want to beat this. You just want to blend it and fold. 
and it will look like this. The next thing is you can use two uh, eight or nine inch round pans if you prefer. I'm going to use my 13 by 9. I used vegetable shortening and I dusted it with flour. And what you're going to do next is just pour the batter into your pan. And you're going to bake this cake at 350 anywhere from 25 to 30 minutes. So start checking it around 20 minutes or so with your toothpick or cake tester. And then once you do that, you're going to lower your temperature of your oven to 325 anywhere from 8 to 12 minutes. And then just even this out. Again, you can use the square 13 by 9 or if you prefer your round pans. I went ahead and baked one to show you. And this is how it came out. A 13 by 9 sugar-free or sugarless cake. Now what's, you can eat it um, just plain or you can actually make a sugar-free cream, uh, uh, cream um, cheese cream, I'm sorry, frosting, which I will be doing on another in a separate video. But I'm going to go ahead and just cut a piece to show you what it looks like. And there you have it. It's a very light, very moist carrot cake with no sugar, just sweetened with apple juice concentrate. Give this one a try. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.